Before I want to bring in Kyle Williams now, senior data scientist with our partners at the Decision Desk HQ. Kyle, thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thank you, Natasha. You know, you just heard from the former president. Can you please give us a, just your first reactions to that speech? It's very interesting sort of to see him clearly sort of tiptoe around as we as we just heard, uh, you know, potentially talking and sort of alluding to a 2024 run in ways, you know, clearly telegraphing that. But of course, at this stage, still not saying anything definite. So, well, and it's interesting. Inter it, it, sorry to interrupt. It is interesting. The Washington Post was citing um, Trump advisors and confidants uh, urging him not to declare ahead of the midterms, fearing that it could derail Republican momentum to regain control of the House. Do you think that he ultimately ended up listening and is pushing his announcement down the road now? Uh, I, it's hard for me to sort of peer into the former president's head to sort of see how he's impacted by things he's hearing. I, I do think it is definitely true that, uh, you know, if the, pre if the former president were to announce his presidential run right now, that could potentially provide some new momentum to Democrats heading into the, the midterm. That we see in our polling that, you know, a clear majority of independents uh, are not particularly interested in seeing the former president run uh, again. And if his presidential bid starts, you know, right now in advance of the midterms, that could be something that gives those independents who Republicans need their support in key states like Georgia and Nevada could give them a reason to think twice before pulling the lever for a Republican candidate. Yeah, I appreciate that insight and, and want to uh, bring in your information, uh, your expertise here as well about the straw poll results that we got tonight. Trump at 69 percent of the vote. Um, if not Trump, then who do you think gets the Republican nomination for 2024? So something else we see in our polling that, you know, we've also asked, uh, you know, who do you support if President Trump doesn't run in 2024? And we see um, Ron DeSantis with a plurality. I think we had him around 45 percent in our last News Nation poll. Um, you know, 45 percent clearly ahead of the rest of, of the field that we asked about, but also, you know, quite also short of 50 percent. And, you know, this far in advance of the 2024 primary, uh, you know, a lot of other candidates who probably will be contenders have very little name recognition with the, the broader electorate. You know, if you think back to 2014, no one in 2014 thought Donald Trump would be the 2016 nominee. And it's important to bear in mind that 2024 is still two years away. All right, Kyle Williams, senior data scientist with our partners at Decision Desk HQ. We certainly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.